Okay, grade 8, now we're going to be doing our simple interest. And we're going to have filled in a block here, and it's going to be our first identity we're learning in financial maths. Okay, let's talk about simple interest. Let's take 1,000 Rand and invest it for one year at a 6% interest. So how much is going to be there after one year? The interest is going to be 1,000 Rand times by 6%. And that is 1,000 times by 6 over 100. That's 1,000 times by 0 0.06. You know how to get from a percent to a decimal. And as you can see that the interest gained is 60 Rand. What did we do here? We simply said, it, we called it interest, but it was simply 6% of 1,000 Rand we found to be 60 Rand. Okay, so the closing balance is how much we have at the end of the year. The opening balance is how much we started with. And the interest is how much we gained during the time period. And in this case, it's one year. So our closing balance is equal to our 1,000 Rand that we started with. We invested, we started with a thousand rand plus our 60 rand interest that we made in the year. And that is very easily going to be, as you can see, equal to 1,060 rand. And that is our closing balance. Okay, sometimes we're going to call our opening balance our P or our principal amount. This is how much we started with. Our interest rate we're going to call a little baby I. So this could be 6% per annum. Per annum means per year, PA, that's per year, 12 months. We might say per month, which is PM. So we we'll always have the value after the percent. It's very important to put that. Or it could be per day in a very rare case. The interest amount is I, a capital I. This is the amount of interest you have gained. So, for example, our interest was 1,000 Rand times 6. You can see the I there. And that is I equals our principal value of 1,000 times our 6%. As you can see, the principal value went here. The 6% went here. And I equals P times A. Um, I equals P times baby I. And our closing balance is equal to our opening balance plus our interest. So, this is our closing balance as we've learned, is our opening balance, which was principal, times our interest here, which is P times I. Right? Right, so this is the same. If I made another step here, it would be the same as our opening balance, our opening balance, which is our P, plus our interest, which is our I. And that is the same as we've done here, which is equal to P, and what is I equal? P times I plus P multiplied by I. We can simplify this fraction to make it equal P 1 plus I because we know that that is the same as P times 1 and we take out a common factor. So that is the same as P multiplied by 1 plus P times I. If you are not sure what we're doing here, make sure you watch the relevant videos to practice taking out common factors in functions and equations. And then we take out P, it's a common factor, and that is equal to P 1 times multiplied by I. And that's exactly what we got here. Right? So let's create the identity. I'm going to tell you what it is. Our closing balance is P 1 plus I. So we're going to say A is equal to P 1 plus I N. So the only difference between our closing balance, which was that, we added an N and we added an A. So we're calling our closing balance A, okay, and then we added an N. What are we doing this for? A is equal to our accumulated amount. It's our final amount. This could also be called your closing balance, but we're going to call it A. P, you know, is your principal amount. It's your initial value. I is your interest, written as a decimal. Very important that it's as a decimal. And N is the number of years. It'll, it'll be the number of years because the interest will be per annum. Right? So let's have a look at an example. A is equal to P, 1 plus I times N. You must remember this. This is your identity. If you invest 2,500 Rand into a bank account at 4.5%, per annum simple interest rate, 
How much will you have at the end of three years? Ah, we have a three years. We can see how to add that. So we can say A is equal to P, 1 plus I times N. P is 25,000, uh, 2,500. That's our principal value. We added our 1. Our I, it has to be in decimal. We know how do you get a percentage into a decimal. You divide it by 100. So we said 4.5 divided by 100. That's great. And then three years, that is our N, N for number of years. And that is equal to 25,000 plus times 1 plus 0 0.045 times 3, which is 1 plus 0 0.135, which is equal to 2,500 times 1.135, which is equal to 2,837 Rand 50. And this is A, this is our accumulated total, or our closing balance. Let's have a look at another example. A equals P, 1 plus I times N. Keep reminding yourself of this. This is going to, you're going to remember this. I borrow 300 Rand from my father at a 6% per annum simple interest for 6 months. Hmm, we're talking per annum, which is per year, but now we have months. We're going to have to think about that. How much will I earn at the end of 6 months? Okay, A equals P, 1 plus I times N. And now we're going to have to change our n to be one half. But let's go through. P is equal to 300, right? That's our principal value, our starting value. We have our 1. We have our interest rate in a decimal by taking the percent and dividing it by 100. And now n is going to be have to be a half because it's only half a year. We must not use 6 because it has to be in terms of number of years. So don't forget that. A equals 300 times 1 plus 0 0.06 times 0 0.5. You know that 0 0.5 is the same as a half. A is equal to 300, 1 plus 0 0.03. And that's 300 times 1.003. At the end of 6 months, we're going to earn 309 rand. Let's have a look at one last example. A is equal to P1 plus I times N. Keep remembering that. How many years must you invest 4,000 Rand at a simple, at a simple interest rate of 7.5% per annum before it goes to 5,500 Rand? Hmm. So we're going to start with 400 Rand. We know that that is our P. We know our interest rate I. We know our A because that's our final A. So we got A, we got P, we got I. Ah, we're going to have to solve N. How many years? Great. Okay. A equals P, 1 plus I times N. So we know that A is 5,500. That's what it's going to end off at before it grows to that. We know our principal value of 4,000. We know 1. We know our interest is 7.5% divided by 100 to get it into decimal fractions. And then we times it by N, the number of years. Okay, so now we've got to manipulate this. You know you can take the 4,000 down to become 5,500 divided by 4,000. You know this, if you haven't, if you're not sure how we're doing this, make sure you watch those videos on manipulating equations. And then we'll be left with 1 plus 0 0.07, that's this bracket here, times n. So that's 1.375, that's this number. 1 plus, we've dropped the brackets here. We now take the 1 to the other side and make it a minus. Keeping this the exact same, so 1.375 minus 1 is 0 0.375, and that is equal to 0 0.075 times n. Now we can take this again to that side to make it 0 0.375 divided by 0 0.75, and now we can solve for n. n is that, I've just swapped, switched it around there, I've done nothing to the equation. So n is equal to 5 years. Well done, we can now fill in our simple interest form, where simple interest is the closing balance, which equals the opening balance plus the interest. And we know our first identity, and that is A, our accumulated total, is equal to P, our principal value, or our starting value, 1 plus I, our interest, times N, the number of the years.